Hi, I'm Dr Brendan Shannon. Um, I'm the Head of Postgraduate Programs in the Paramedicine Department here at Monash University and a registered paramedic. In my research, it was a fascinating look at the international experience of paramedics working in non-traditional roles. So looking here locally and nationally within Australia, the role of the paramedics, while not limited within an ambulance service, is limited within its impact within the wider healthcare system. What we found is that paramedics are the uh, jack of all trades, yet the masters of none, and they provide generalism in a time of ever-increasing specialisation. So it's that generalism that we provide, the ability to see a problem 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, and to fix that problem that enables us the skills to work within the wider healthcare workforce. Alternative care pathways, is exactly as, it's, as, as it sounds, it's a different way of looking at how people access the healthcare system. So we know that not everyone needs to go to an emergency department, not everyone needs hospital admission. So much care can be provided in the community. And not only can care be provided acutely in the community, but if we focused on preventative and primary care and providing that in the community early, patients wouldn't fall off the cliff edge as often as they currently do. So my research really looked at patients who, within underserved communities that often have social and uh, complex chronic conditions and multimorbidity. And alternative care pathways like outreach programs that work out of hospitals um, to provide care in the community uh, are ever abundant. But really that intersection as well with ambulance services is limited and paramedics within those roles is limited at least nationally here in Australia. But we know that the international experience through community paramedicine programs use paramedics in a proactive outreach manner, not just responding to triple O or 911 or 999 calls, and are truly integrated within the wider healthcare system, affording access to patients that care those who need it most. My research showed that these outreach teams have an impact on reducing readmission rates and they do get to the intended patient group that they're trying to get to, but paramedics are not involved. Internationally we see this used, particularly in Canada and the UK, and it's a real shame to not see paramedics afforded the same opportunity to provide our generalist skill set to these outreach teams, because paramedics work from day one in the community. Not many other health professions do that from day one. So we're ready, willing and able to go. Community paramedicine is an evolving area of using paramedics in a non-traditional way that isn't just responding to triple O or emergency calls. It's paramedics proactively going out to patients within the community that we know have decreasing access or increasing healthcare needs. So this might look like a paramedic with a client list going out and seeing patients with CCF to ensure that they don't end up having exacerbation. Whereas traditionally we might see paramedics only responding to patients when they're in an emergency situation, particularly for patients with chronic diseases uh, who are having that exacerbation. So that's really a key distinction and, and really sums up well what community paramedicine is. Paramedicine as a profession is and as a job is wonderful. Not many jobs are you afforded the unknowingness of going into the community of what you're going to see, but the privilege of going into people's homes is something that not many people are afforded. The trust that's put into us to go in and to treat people in their time of need is real is a, is a real privilege. And my guiding advice to anyone wanting to do it is simply do it. If it's something that you actually are genuinely concerned about helping others, because at the core that's what the job's about, helping others, particularly at the time that they need it most. Mm -hmm.